It's terrifying. It's a whole list of, we don't know, is he gonna walk? Can he move his legs? Can he go to the bathroom on his own? So as much as I would love to just have, I guess a quote unquote normal child, he's as normal as he can be and will cross the bridges later on. The current research being conducted is sampling Washington parents and interviewing them to possibly find a common factor. In anencephaly cases, they're all fatal. Babies born without parts of their brain. With spina bifida, there's more hope. Were you both under the assumption that the Department of Health was including you in this umbrella of their research? Yes, totally. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So to come to find out that they're heading onwards with, with uh, anencephaly and not looking into spina bifida, it's disheartening. The Department of Health will continue what they call passive surveillance of spina bifida cases. They say no matter the defect, it's tragic, but they have to focus their active sampling on the more alarming cases. It's a point of comparison. The, the, you know, the, the thing that makes this unique is that under uh, normal circumstances, you'd see higher levels of spina bifida, but, we, but in this case, we're not. In spina bifida, the baby is born with part of their spinal cord sticking out. While it's not always fatal, it's debilitating. As long as the cause of these defects isn't known, the moms are going to do whatever they can to get their own answers. We're thinking if they can't do it, We'll do it. Shelton and Jones have created the Facebook page Washington Neural Tube Defects Cluster. They're connecting with other moms and dads and spreading the word this could happen to anyone. While folic acid is extremely important, people need to be prepared to have something else happen and be prepared to fight for it. And, you know, these little kiddos can't fight for themselves.